I had a buddy who got discharged. Category six after Eden Prime. At six? Damn. Well, if I'd been on Eden Prime, I'd have lost it too. He fought it, said he was still fit for duty. Last thing he told me was that he was joining Cerberus. Commander, Dr. Chakwas sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. I'm recruiting now. How's Jacob? He'll be okay. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Nice to see those Cerberus scientists come to their senses. After everything he's done, the elusive man can't pretend he's fighting for humanity. Anyone who isn't indoctrinated has to see that by now. Well, we got out early. Commander? Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachunka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Maws. That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachunko was destroyed by a worm. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth. And the Reapers. Reproduction isn't all there is. We find meaning in the work we do. Good deeds we accomplish. Love. I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. It appears many humans did in fact do so. That was quick. <laughs> Gotta love quantum computing. Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. Wait, wait, you're just gonna turn yourself good? Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. Garrus mentioned something about you two having some fun next time you're on the Citadel. Don't get into trouble. play this game what's the matter vicarian you chicken i don't even know what that is though i've heard everything in the galaxy tastes like it but if you're suggesting i'm scared game on vega age before wisdom okay back in my c-sec days i busted a batarian spy ring that was trying to assassinate a counselor please i fought off a dozen angry batarians on omega single-handedly Used one of them as a landing pad off a three-story jump. <laughs> Just warming up, seeing what you had. Now, I tracked down this guy, Saren. Stopped him from raising a Geth army and unleashing the Reapers three years ago. 
Doesn't count. You did that with Shepard. You're right. I was with Shepard from the very beginning. That just means you're old. May I speak with you, Commander? Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. 